Failures in bolted connections. First, shear failure of bolt. See, this is how the shear failure happens. See, here is the lap joint. So, one plate is uh, on the top, the other plate is on the bottom. We have lapped two plates which you need to be connected. Then we have made a holes in both the plates. See, one, two, and three holes. Then in all the hole, we insert the bolt and we connect. So if you apply the load here, if you apply the tensile load. So what happens is if you keep on increasing the load, at some point it is going to fail. First failure mode is shear failure. See now look at this picture. So if you keep on increasing the load, the junction between these two plates, that is where the shear failure is going to happen. So here are the two picture one is lap joint and the other one is butt joint but in lap joint you have a uh, three bolts if you take a single bolt how many shear failure plane that means how many planes where the shear failure is going to happen in a single bolt so if you look at this there is only one intersection between the main member and that is here so there is only one shear failure plane, possible shear failure plane in lap joint for a single bolt. But in butt joint, if you look at, see again, there are three bolts, one, two and three in a butt joint. If you take a single bolt, it looks like this. Here is the main member where we are going to apply the load and these two are the cover plates top cover plate and bottom cover plate. These cover plate are used only for the connection. And if you take the single bolt, there are two intersections. One is between main plate and cover plate. And the second one is again between main plate and the lower cover plate. So there are two intersections. Double cover butt joint again you have two covers that is why we are calling it as a double cover for in a double cover but join there are two possible shear failure plane in a single bolt second one is bearing failure of bolt or plate say anything can happen if you apply the load look at this connection if you apply the load here like this and in the member like this if you keep on increasing the load what happens is either bolt can fail by crushing or plate can crush whichever is weaker either bolt crushing can happen or plate crushing can happen and the connection is gonna fail that crushing failure is called as a bearing failure if you look at uh, this picture here is the bearing failure of plate the bolt dia has not decreased further but all, what happens is since you are keep on increasing the load now the bolt is in contact with the main plate so if the main member is weak then the main member is gonna crush and then the failure is gonna happen and also in the bottom plate this is where the main member is in contact with the bolt the load carrying member is weaker than bolt then obviously bearing failure is gonna happen in the plate but here if the bolt is weaker than the load carrying member then if you keep on increasing the load then uh, the possibility is bearing failure can happen in bolt bolt can crush and failure can happen that is the bearing failure first picture explains the shear failure if the bolt is strong enough in bearing if it's weak in shear then this kind of failure can happen tension failure of bolt see look at this picture again the load from this projector is very less if you replace this with any other heavy tool then the load is transferred to the other member through this bolt so this load is gonna pull this bolt down it's gonna pull all the four bolts down so this bolt is completely subjected to tension the bolt may fail in tension like this here are the few pictures which explains uh, all the failure first is uh, 
Now from this picture it's clear that uh, the bolt has failed in shear. So there is one shear failure plane in a, in a single bolt. And here if you look at this is the shear failure of plate. Okay, sometimes even the main member plate may fail in shear. And in a third bearing failure of bolt. So uh, look at this, the bolt has crushed. And the fourth one explains the bearing failure of plate. See the plate is going to get crushed and the failure will happen. And uh, this picture explains the tension failure of a bolt if you apply the tension load. Shear failure of bolt, bearing failure of bolt or bearing failure of plate can happen and the tension failure of bolt. See in all these four failure how the load transfers from one member to other member is different. So in shear failure, this is the longitudinal axis of a bolt. So load is applied perpendicular to its axis. See in that situation the bolt will experience shear failure. In bearing also, so bolt axis is this and load is applied transfers to the axis of the member. If we apply load on the transverse direction to the axis of the bolt, then the bolt may experience shear failure or bearing failure. If the load is applied along the axis of the bolt, then the bolt will experience tension failure.